Okay, Mark Zuckerberg tells Joe Rogan Facebook was wrong to ban the posts Hunter Biden laptop story. Oh, you think? Duh. <laughs> Zuckerberg admitted that Facebook made a mistake. Oh, God, is this somebody who got punched? I don't know who that is. <laughs> Pat's latest victim. Just kidding. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg admitted that Facebook made a mistake over its decision to ban sharing of the Post's exclusive report on Hunter Biden's laptop ahead of the 2020 election. I still can't believe this was like over two years ago. The billionaire CEO of Meta said he regretted Facebook's response to the Biden story during an appearance on the Joe Rogan experience. After the host pressed him to explain his views on how tech platforms should handle content moderation on sensitive subjects. When something like that turns out to be real, there is regret for not having it evenly distributed uh, and and for throttling the distribution of that. Oh, this is Rogan asking, when something like that turns out to be real, is there regret for not having it evenly distributed and for throttling the distribution of that story? Rogan asked the post uh, about the host Hunter Biden scoop. Yeah, it sucks, Zuckerberg said. It turned out after the fact, the fact checkers looked into it. No one was able to say it was false. <laughs> I think it sucks, though, in the same way that probably having to go through a criminal trial but being proven innocent in the end sucks. So he's, like, kind of not really apologizing. Of course, he can't be seen uh, admitting any fault in this. He's like, yeah, well, it just turned out that way. It's like, no. There was a lot of proof that this was a real story and Facebook on purpose to throttled it. He said the platform opted to limit sharing on the story, but not halt it entirely after the FBI told Meta employees to be wary of Russian propaganda ahead of the election. More than 50. Like, how did they not realize uh, like this is coming from the FBI? Uh, more than 50 former senior intelligence officers signed on to a letter that claimed the laptop story has all the classic earmarks of a Russian information operation. Yeah, but look at who is signing on to this. Uh, but, you know, Facebook is in the palm of the media's hand. They are, I think, probably somewhat controlled by the government. Uh, our protocol is different than Twitter's. What Twitter did is they said, you can't share this at all. We didn't do that, Zuckerberg said. Rogan agreed that Facebook's approach was certainly much more reasonable than Twitter's stance. The podcast host also acknowledged the difficult decision facing social media platforms regarding politically sensitive stories ahead of an election. I just don't think they looked at it hard enough. When the New York Post is talking about it, they're pretty smart about what they release and what they don't release. Rogan said, yeah, they're not like some schlocky uh, rag, as they say. For the five or seven days when it was basically being determined whether it was false, the distribution on Facebook was decreased, but people were still allowed to share it. Zuckerberg added, you could still share it. You could still consume it. Yeah, but like how throttled was it? Uh, while Zuckerberg acknowledged that Facebook had also reduced distribution of the report on its own platform, he tried to defend the process as reasonable. I think the process was pretty reasonable. He added a lot of people were still able to share it. We got a lot of complaints that that was the case. Yeah, okay. This is a hyper-political issue. So depending on what side of the political spectrum, you either think we didn't censor enough or censored it way too much but we weren't as black and white about it as Twitter. <laughs> well, we weren't as bad as Twitter. The, the tech CEO also took thinly veiled swipes at Twitter, calling the rival social networks ban overly black and white. Twitter uh, briefly suspended the Post's account in 2020 after the laptop expose revealed the existence of tens of thousands of emails between the president's son and business associates. The, and some fun photos. Uh, the emails revealed how Biden's son leveraged his political access in his overseas business dealings. Zuckerberg claimed that Facebook took a different path than Twitter. Republicans have also have a, have accused Facebook of suppressing conservative voices. And here is the cover, the New York Post cover from October 14th, 2020. Wow. And then... Again, yeah, it was the cover of the post the next day on October 15th. And here's a lovely picture of Hunter just thinking about his life, wondering where it all went wrong. 
The Post has reached out to Twitter for a comment on Zuckerberg's remarks. The tech CEO admitted that sharing the sharing of the story was meaningfully limited on Facebook after its initial publication. And here's another photo of Hunter. I guess sort of staring into his own eyes. Searching for his soul or what's left of it. I think the right way to establish principles for governance that try to be balanced and not having the decision making to centralize Zuckerberg responded. It's hard for people to accept that some team at Meta or that I personally am making these decisions. Well, there's nothing to determine that you are not, you know what I mean? There's no, there's no proof to show us anything other than that. Zuckerberg took another swipe at Twitter in a different portion of the nearly three hour podcast interview with Rogan saying that it's hard to spend time on the platform without getting too upset. <laughs> okay. He contrasted Twitter with Instagram, which is owned by his company. Zuckerberg said that it was easy to spend time on Instagram and absorb a lot of positivity. He sounds like a pussy. Mm, Twitter's too negative. Well, that's where all the memes are. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. God, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.